Halloween is in a few days. What are you going to dress up as? I love Halloween, and every year I try to dress up as something different. Last year I did an Adams Family theme party at home and dressed up as Wednesday. This year I'm going to my friend's house for a Day of the Dead theme party. As you can see from all the references I have here, for me to achieve this theme, I have to put on some face paint. Face paint and makeup are fun for Halloween, when dressing up or for special occasions. But did you know most face paints can cause problems like skin irritation and allergies, or contain toxic ingredients like lead, mercury, or asbestos? I'm very careful with what I put on my skin. Not only because I have an acne-prone and sensitive skin, but also because a lot of face products actually contain harmful chemicals that can be absorbed into our bloodstream. Fortunately, it's really easy to create face paint using natural or safe ingredients you already have at home. I'm going to show you how I make my face paint with cornstarch and mineral sunscreen. If you don't have mineral sunscreen, you can also use the cold cream or lotion you've been using. I use mineral sunscreen because unlike the chemical sunscreen, which will be absorbed into the skin, penetrating on a deeper level, mineral sunscreen just sits on the surface of the skin. This one I'm using is also toxin-free, safe to use on babies. And since mineral sunscreen sits on the surface of your skin, it works well with this recipe. I found it holds the colors better and also provides a longer lasting result. Here are the ingredients for my homemade non-toxic Halloween face paint. You will need cornstarch, water, mineral sunscreen, coconut oil. And for coloring, we are using bamboo charcoal powder for black, paprika for orange. We will first start with making our face paint base which is also the white face paint. Then we can add different coloring to the white face paint to make other color face paints. Step one, I have a container here with a half teaspoon of water. Now add a teaspoon of cornstarch to the water and mix well. Step two, add in a half teaspoon of mineral sunscreen and blend them into a paste. Make sure it turns into a smooth paste with no lumps. Step 3. This is optional. You can add in a pinch of coconut oil, which will add some shine to the makeup and make the face paint less dry on your face. Mix well. You can test the consistency and texture of the paint by putting a little on your hand. Looks good! The white face paint is ready! Now it's time to make some colors! I'm going to use some of this face paint base to make my black and orange face paint. I'm using bamboo charcoal powder for black. This is all natural and organic. If you can't find bamboo charcoal, you can also use squid ink to get this color. If you just spread the black charcoal powder onto your skin, it's already giving you the color but it won't hold on your skin and will get smudged and fall off your skin easily. That's why we're adding the powder to our face paint base so it will become a black face paint that can last longer on your skin. Add a pinch of bamboo charcoal powder to the white face paint and mix well. Here's our black face paint. And for the orange face paint, we will add a pinch of paprika to the face paint base. And here's our orange face paint. If there are other colors you want to make for your face paint, feel free to add in a small amount of food coloring of your choice. Or use coloring from fruits, like blending blueberries for purple, beetroot for pink. When putting this face paint on your face, use your fingers instead of a brush. Because we have coconut oil inside, with your fingers, the body heat actually helps it to spread out easier and be less like chunky because sometimes you can see some lumps.
Ta-da! This is my final look using all the face paints that I just made. All natural, safe ingredients. And yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm ready for the party. To remove your makeup is actually very easy because this is all natural based ingredients. Even the colors are very easy to take off with just warm water with your normal face wash. Or use your leftover coconut oil, rub it over your face and then wash it with warm water. It will also take off the makeup. Recently, I've been exploring different ways to create natural homemade products. If you are also interested in my DIY projects, feel free to subscribe and stay tuned for my next video. Bye!